Guys, the chickens here. We're back today with another Clash Quest video. In today's video, guys, I want to talk a little bit about global release, global launch, and uh, kind of the current state of Clash Quest and where I think it's going to go based on my experience covering Supercell games for the last few years. And uh, yeah, so guys, this is content you enjoy. If you're excited for this game, if you just want to stay up to date on Clash Quest, make sure you subscribe and uh, leave a like below, uh, down below on the video. So um, yeah, yeah, let's talk about where we're at and let's get. Uh, Let's get some battles going too at the same time. So, um, yeah, I think I think Clash Quest really does have what it takes. It really does have the potential to go global. Um, and you know, typically I wouldn't go all in and um, you know just kind of assume that on a lot of Supercell games because they they actually kill more games than um, than they decide to go live with. So um, that was the wrong move. Um, but yeah, I think it's got everything. It, it's got the the biggest thing to me. Is that uh, it, it has the Clash universe? Like that's what's, um, you know, that's what's so exciting about it is that you know it, it's using all the troops and stuff from the most popular Supercell games, you know, Clash Clans, Clash Royale, all that stuff. Um, so I think that just you know kind of puts it up, up and above and beyond the rest, uh, kind of right out of the gate. So <clears throat> you know, and the game is fun. The game is fun. It's I I think this is like the perfect, like if you're gonna drop a mobile game, you know it's something that you can play quickly. You can even close the app if you're mid battle and it doesn't auto finish, which is amazing. Um, you know it's uh, it's kind of like a puzzle strategy game. Obviously the game's not finished yet either. Like it's still in. I think it's in beta now, um, or whatever you want to call it. But um, you know, for a game that's very fresh and very new and hasn't had a ton of, uh, let me try to focus up the camera here, it hasn't had a ton of, um, updates made just for the sake of, uh, you know, the, the players that are currently playing it, I, I think it's very polished, I think it's, you know, a very good game, and, you know, it's got nothing but, uh, it's, it's got nothing but potential from here, so I'm excited to see, you know, the future of it, and how they're gonna add things to it, you know, like they added the dungeon feature, uh, which was great, but it's kind of uh, a lot of the same gameplay, but they're going to add more things. Like, they're going to add more boss battles. There's, you know, we don't even have clans yet. There's going to be some sort of clan war feature, um, which is going to be really exciting. So, yeah. I think for all those reasons, and the fact that it doesn't even have clans yet, um, you know, and people that are playing it, you know, really love the game. And, uh, you know, it is fun. Like, the core gameplay of it is, is a lot of fun. Uh, I think for those reasons, you know, I'm going to, stand behind it for sure and, and uh, assume that it's going to have the potential or possibly go global. Uh, I don't know how long it would take. I mean, I'm just guessing, obviously, but maybe within the next year or so, that would be interesting to see. So you guys let me know your thoughts. What do, what do you think? Do you think it has the uh, has the potential to go global or do you think uh, Chicken's way off in this one? That tactic is interesting because it allows you to use... Um, troops outside of their combos, which is different. I don't know if I like that or not, but uh, yeah, it's definitely different. It's definitely different. All right, let's get a nice reroll. 361 gems. We're doing okay. Uh, let's try. I think we can do better than that. I think we can do better than that. They're getting a little bit greedy. Uh, one, two, three. That's not too bad. That was okay-ish, I guess. Look at this archer combo, dude. Eight archers? Nice. Uh, let's use the prince on him. Finish him off nice and quick. Let's go over here. We'll hit all the inferno towers. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. We missed two. Did I put it on the wrong tile on the second one? I don't understand how I missed there. <laughs> Guys, what happened? What happened? I, I, I missed something. Um, these stages are easy. Easy, easy. Alright, let's use... Uh, no. Well, let's use one P.E.K.K.A. here. He went the wrong way. And let's use him. There you go. Go archers, finish this off maybe? Wow. I don't know why this stage is so easy right now. But uh, it's okay. Let's go Giants. One, two, three. Yeah, we're not going to finish the stage, it looks like. But we're going to get pretty darn close. 
If we had those walls open up, maybe. No go. No go. Alright, let's go. One, two. Kind of waste its appearances there, but that's fine. And boom. Well, easy enough to go on to the next level, but uh, not enough to, uh, to get that third star, unfortunately. So let's move on up here. Uh, that's an okay roll. That's a nice roll. That's what we want. Look at that. The archers are like one-shotting. That's strong, though. That's the way to go. Um, can we take all this down? Just a couple fireballs. Save some troops, maybe. Ah, that's a waste of a giant. I should use the archer. Um, okay, let's go princes, since they're all kind of in a line. That's decent value, I guess. Uh, how do we want to play this? Pekka's kind of a waste. Everything's kind of a waste. Uh, we have a lot of single target troops here. And um, we have a lot of single target defenses, so it's not really a great matchup. Kind of an odd troop like pairing, but whatever. Alright, we'll go Pekka next for the tower up here. There we go. And we'll start off with the archers. Start off there. Let's move the princes out of the way. We'll get a giant combo and we kind of have to use them anyway, so... I don't have anything to move the troops around. Yeah. Uh, let's drive the prince into there. And then we'll use the giants over here. One, two, take out the arch tower, and boom. We cleared two to three stages. Okay, now where are we going? Electro Mound. Do we get a boss sound up here? No, eh? Alright, this one's only two stages, so we got to be a little bit more careful. Let's get a nice reroll to start with. Um, I think we can do better than that. Oh my god, that's a nice roll. That's what we want. Nine times Prince combo? Yeah, anytime you can basically take out the entire stage in one go, that's, you know, I'm okay with that. One, two, and three. Boom. Two turns. Let's go, dude. Um, Alright, let's zap here. And zap here. The zaps aren't really meant for um, anything that isn't an Inferno Tower. The zaps are meant to stun the Inferno Tower when it's in the lock mode. Oh my god, 11 times combo? <laughs> Let's go, that was incredible. That was the easiest... That, that was the best roll I've ever got, I think. Like, you know, uh, for, a, for a, two stages back-to-back, -back, that was incredible. Wow, we'll take that. Um, two, four, let's see if we can beat that. Let's see, let's see. Come on. We got too lucky in the last one, now we're spoiled. We want a perfect roll every time. Okay, that was alright. Let's go archers next. The great thing about when you get like a really nice combo is it uses up all of one troop, right? So you have a greater chance of getting a really nice combo as the troops replenish because, you know, if I just used all my princes, I'm not going to get like a mixture of princes and archers and wizards. I'm going to get more, um, you know, it's going to be half archers and wizards for the most part. Why did I do that? I was not paying attention. I just wasted like seven wizards. <laughs> oh, chicken. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll still... uh. We'll still be able to beat the stage, I think. <clears throat> um, okay, let's go like that. Can try to keep those peckers alive. That didn't help. Uh, one, two, nope, that was a waste. Okay, there we go. Not a total waste, I guess. Go Archer. We'll send in this P.E.K.K.A. first. I don't know if any of this really matters. One, two, zap, zap, and zap. One of two stages. Not too bad, not too bad. That is going to allow us to move on, I think. Right? Electro Moon? Oh. That was underwhelming. We got a lot of stars to go back and get, so that's where we're at for uh today, guys. That's my thoughts on where the game is currently and um if we have a chance of going global, shout out to Pazzy and Croco. 
They're kicking the chicken's tail feathers, but, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Um, interested to hear. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Breakfast.